You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Have a good day. Have a good day. I can't do that. I can't walk backwards. <laughs> Hi, over there. Hello. <laughs> How many hours have you been in here? They were on the hayride with us. <laughs> okay, here we go. Which way? 
Which, which way did he go, go, George? Which way did he go? Which way for sure? Huh? Remember when we had what the Bobby roll? Didn't we get like little clues in certain boxes? Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we're going. <laughs> This is definitely the wrong way, Bob. <laughs> Whoa! And we're out. <laughs> Woo! That was yeah. our GPS. <laughs> yeah. But did you get that on video? Or yeah. Do we have to do it again. Oh no, I missed it. Let's do it again. <laughs> We're following the leader, or we're not leader. Good one. <laughs> this is what the maze looks like. Hey, we got out. You're gonna go for three plays, folks. This may be a world record for Helen. Here we go. We're gonna go three plays. I'm turning you into a unicorn right here. Perfect. So that's why I'm going to give you something a lot better. I'm going to give you a copy of my Learn How to Juggle book. 
You see the cups that we just juggled right here on the front of the book. This is so cool. I wrote it in English. <laughs> Actually, it gets better. I wrote this in English without an accent. <laughs> this is for you to get a big round of applause from everybody in the crowd. Okay, folks, he is shaking just a little bit, so we got to need your help. Everybody, start a slow clap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. The five, four, four, seven. Kevin, I'm going to be traveling out of your body. So far, so good. Put some hands up, scream so fast. Yes, you did. You made it, my friend. You're playing that very well. It scares me. It's unbelievable. Trained actor right here. Drama school. Let me give you a little CPR. One more act in the show. You don't want to miss it. It's awesome. Folks, this is not working. The only way to save Kevin's life, let me give him a little bit of mouth to mouth. Did you see that? He went like... It's okay, Kevin. I'm European. I'm, maybe I'm French. <laughs> I can feel hungry. He's back alive. He's my first ever survivor. Let me break over the pillow off so much. This is coming up.
You're gonna put one hand on each side, just like you're holding a cheeseburger. Please don't bite the tortoise to one. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get out the larger tortoise. Where did I put him? Around here. Some of you guys saw him before the show. Give him just a few more years, Duan, and that tortoise is gonna look a lot more like this tortoise. <laughs> so you can see the one that Duan's holding is only about 18 months. The one that I'm holding is around 10 years old. How old do you think these tortoises live? They can live well over 100 years. In the audience, stretch out your arms and give me a guess. How large do you think this tortoise may grow? About three feet long. About 200 pounds or bigger. How does I'll bring the snake to you? And they wrap right around you with their tail. And we'll put the other one on that side. Does he feel pretty good, Wyeth? Wyeth, you're doing a great job. You guys think Wyeth is doing a good job? Way to go, Wyeth. The neat thing about snakes, Wyatt, sometimes when you're holding on to one snake, it feels almost like you're holding on to two snakes. Well, I did actually put a second snake on you. That's why it feels like it. But we have a saying here in the herpetology field, we like to say the only thing better than two snakes, three snakes. Wyatt, are you ready to do three at once? We're going to put three snakes on Wyatt at the same time. Wyatt. You're holding on to three snakes. Give them a big round of applause. Good job, buddy. Now, let's, let's, let's ask Wyatt, while he's up here, we'll ask him what it feels like. Wyatt, you have three snakes crawling all over you. What does that feel like, buddy? Oh, he says he's crawling down his shirt. Well, that, you're not supposed to do that. But you're doing a good job, Wyatt. Well, Wyatt, I'm going to take these snakes off of you. What would you think? if we gave you a snake to take home today. Would that be cool if we gave you your very own snake? Uh, why? You're not supposed to put the snakes in your clothes, right? <laughs> Guys, do you think it'd be fun if we gave Wyatt his very own snake? <laughs> what is going on here, Wyatt? He has a snake going right through his shirt. <laughs> but I think it might just live in there from now on. <laughs> we'll see if we ever get him out of there. One of these days, I'm going to have a snake go in there and see if I can have a bunny rabbit come out. That'd be really cool. Now, Wyatt, before you sit down, let's give Wyatt a choice here. Would you like to have your own pet snake? No. What would you think if I gave you a pet snake? Would that be cool? See, we're actually an animal rescue. All of these eyes are closed. I'm going to look back here, see if I can find a snake that I'm going to give him. Are his eyes still closed? All right, don't anyone tell him what snake he's getting. Hopefully, his mom will let him keep it. He's going to get his very own new pet snake. There it is, Wyatt. <laughs> That's your new pet snake. Congratulations.